sassy. I've been having a great month. I have a special gentleman in my life. Yes, yes, it's, uh, it's getting pretty serious. Yeah, a few months ago, we actually moved in together. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> So it's going pretty great. <laughs> quick, quick question. When you first move in with someone that you love, is it appropriate to keep writing your name on your own food? Is that cool? <laughs> My mother desperately wants us to get married. She's such a sweet lady. She's so sweet and so conservative and so Catholic. So I very much enjoyed calling her when gay marriage passed in this fine country of ours. <laughs> yes, I was excited about it. I was happy. Gay marriage. That's awesome. My mom, a little nervous, you know. She's a little bit like, oh no, Amber, oh no, 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 oh, no, 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 it's fine, it's fine. Are you, are you whispering? Are you afraid of the gays tapping the phones in Fargo? <laughs> Are they after your lemon bar recipe? <laughs> <laughs> no, I just, I don't know. Oh no, you know, oh no. <laughs> so mother, what's so terrifying? What's so scary about gay marriage? What's so scary about gay marriage? And she said, okay, Amber, I heard this. Okay, I heard this. They're gonna start teaching little kids gay stuff in elementary school. Oh no. <laughs> Teaching little kids gay stuff in elementary school. I wish. I wish I had learned about gay men when I was in elementary school. Yeah, then maybe I wouldn't have tried to sleep with so many when I was in college. <laughs> Save me a little heartache. Okay. My mom's so sweet. She lives in Fargo, you know, like you said, yeah. It's a great place to grow up, but uh, people pick on me. Oh, Fargo. Yeah, Fargo is a great place to grow up. Only in a place like Fargo does someone like me get cast as a shark girl in West Side Story. Yeah, because I look the most Puerto Rican. Yeah. <laughs> My dad's there too, my dad, he's great. My dad has trifocals, that's where I get my bad eyesight. He's got three, that's three different prescriptions in, in this teeny tiny area. I don't know how he functions throughout the day, but boy, is it fun to watch him play Angry Birds. <laughs> big motorcycle guy, my dad. He spends his winters in Phoenix. I went to visit him. I drove from Los Angeles to Phoenix. Spent some quality time with my Scandinavian dad. So what did we do? We went on a 361 mile motorcycle ride. That's too many. It's too many. Too many hours. Eight hours. It's too many hours for your crotch to be vibrating next to your father. <laughs> Should I ever have to yell out loud into the wind? Uh, hey, Dad! Do you think we can take a break because my butt is numb? Dad, can we do that? Yes, keep going. They worry so much about me, my folks. I live in Los Angeles now. They get so worried about me. And, uh, but two months into moving, uh, after moving to LA, I was waiting for the city bus. Because I was like, I'm going to be a sassy lady in the big city. So I was waiting for the city bus. And, uh, okay, I'm standing. I'm standing right here. And, uh, and, and then a, a gentleman started to approach me. And I, he looked a little down on his luck. Oof. He was having a bad go of it, you know. And I got a little judgy. He was just coming to me. I thought, oh, he's going to ask me for money. Mm. He's going to try to talk to me. Mm. You know, maybe he was. Maybe, maybe he just needs a few extra bucks. I had an extra two bucks, okay? So I held my head up high, ready to make a new friend. And then he, and he mumbled towards me, and he got real close to me, and then he just, uh, he just whipped his dick out. <laughs> <laughs> and just shook it out. Got <laughs> <laughs> <Call> whip. <laughs> just shook it right out. 
me. And in that moment, with that gentleman whipping his dick at me, I have never sounded more like my own mother. Because I just turned to him and I said, Oh, hon, that's no place for a sunburn. about that night. Uh, mom's on the upstairs phone, dad's on the downstairs phone, you know. And I said, uh, big day in Hollyweird. <laughs> uh, gentleman uh, took his dick out and, you know, shook it at me. <laughs> and my dad said, well, how come? <laughs> and my mother said, well, you know, George, she has lost 10 pounds. <laughs> Thank you so much, George.